Okay, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Tanek127, and welcome back to Tanek FPS. And in today's video, we're going to talk more about the speculation that I made the other day about a new road coming to Rogue Company in Season 4. Now, if you've watched my previous video, if you haven't, I'll leave it in a um, in the video description and in a pinned comment down below so you guys can see. But this clip right here from last week's This Week in Rogue Company, a.k.a. Twerk, kind of gives us a sneak peek at a future Rogue coming to the game. And um, you guys may see that I went ahead and resorted to a kind of clickbaitish thumbnail style. Well, there's a reason. There's a reason here for that. And um, I know that that turns off a lot of people. But what if I were to tell you that this is one of those rare occasions where the thumbnail actually works. And there's a reason for it. Well, if you go back and you look at this photo here the other day, um, Rogue Company actually posted this saying that Jackal is always watching. There's a nice shadowy figure standing here. And, um, you know, this is also the picture that I used for my for my thumbnail. And the reason why I titled the thumbnail, It All Makes Sense Now. There's a shadowy figure standing there. You see Chak and somebody else on the ground. And um, there's also a little spider drone right next to this character if you look down towards the bottom, which is kind of dark and hard to see. So I'll zoom in on that for you guys so you all can look at it. But, um, yeah, so this is obviously a Jackal member. Well, what if I were to tell you guys that I tweeted Scott Gandhi directly, and I'll show that right here on the screen, and asked him, Hey, Scott, I know you're a busy dude and can't always respond to every tweet, but um, if you could give us one word about the next Rogue coming to Rogue Company, what would it be? Scott went ahead and said, Jackal. So there's our two pieces of Jackal clues right there. And one thing I've learned as a content creator, especially with my main channel, is um, developers, especially ones that work on these live service games that like to keep everything as a surprise, they love giving vague answers. So anytime you want to answer out of these guys, just ask a question that can get a vague answer and you'll get it. And if you put those vague answers together, you'll start getting your clues and adding up and getting the kind of answers that you want. That's all you got to do. They won't ask it and they won't answer anything that's direct. So if I would have said, hey, Scott, what's the name of the next rogue or what's the next rogue do? He probably would have just ignored me. But because my question could get a vague answer, he answered almost immediately. Like two or three minutes later, he literally responded. But um, the reason I went ahead and made this thumbnail that we're going to go ahead and go back to and look at my clickbaity arrows and all that fun stuff is because um, the abilities and, you know, what this rogue may possibly do, which I'm assuming this spider drone is part of what uh, is what um, he or she does, it all makes sense on why the character we see in the video footage is wearing the visor. This visor could be some type of camera thing that they look through to see through the spider drone. Now, um, if you look at, uh, on uh, on Cremar's Twitter, who is um, one of the known leakers for um, for Rogue Company, they also talk a little bit about um, a spider drone-like ability being found in the game files, which I found um, which I found very interesting, and a lot of it is starting to tie in to this character. Now, disclaimer: this character that's you know in the video footage I'm showing, and this character that's in this thumbnail, they could very well be two different rogues. You know, we could be looking at the last two rogues for year one. Like, guys, remember something here. November and December for a rogue company are going to be pretty epic because they owe us two more rogues before this year is over. So sometime in the next 60 days, we're getting two more characters to this game in season four. And they have to somehow squeeze all that together. So that way, you know, this the, the last rogue of the game doesn't become a technically a year two rogue. They have to fill the quota of, you know, the of their um of their year one pass, or you know, I would assume. So um yeah, these this very well could be two characters, but I'm judging by, you know, the way things are going here, I doubt it. The only thing I'm seeing that's, you know, that has me a little concerned is the way that both of these characters are dressed, the one here in the thumbnail and the one here in the video, are pretty different. This character seems to be wearing, you know, some crazy semi-futuristic tactical gear now you can only see the back of him and his silhouette a bit you can you can't see too many details on on this person and the other character is definitely wearing something futuristic but it seems more you know like hip and overwatch-ish kind of kind of 
it kind of gives me a little bit of a Lucio vibe when you look at him. I don't know if it's just, you know, the black, white, and green that's giving me that or or um, or what. But we also can tell that the character kind of has a, um, a ponytail. So we're also suspecting that it may be a woman. Or then again, it could be just a dude with, with, um, with long hair. But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that the character coming next to Rogue Company, I'm pretty sure now at this point, is 90% a jackal character. And, you know, this whole spider drone thing could very well be its ability and um this picture and this footage we've seen could tie in very well to the same person and like i was saying before that's kind of why you know i made the thumbnail the way i did because the visor could be their way of controlling the spider drone so hopefully that makes sense to you guys and you don't feel like really clickbaited or um or anything like that because trust me i try to avoid thumbnails and titles that are really crazy hell i just started using capital letters in my titles this year because P other content creators really recommended to me that i that i should um a lot of my videos on both channels tend to suffer because i don't i'm not really as clickbaity ish as a lot of people which i don't know i guess i kind of punish myself i'm i'm still learning i'm still new so <laughs> forgive me but anyway guys that's the story for another day let me know what you guys are thinking how y'all feeling about the next rogue coming to rogue company do y'all think these are the same person do you think they're two different people let me know down in the comments below and i will see y'all in the next video if you're new here subscribe i do rogue company content all the time i'll see y'all in the next one peace